Hey what's up guys, in this video I will be showing you what's new and updated with developers preview of the Android L. It was released a few days earlier in the Google I.O. 2014. If you want to install this on your Nexus 5 or your Nexus 7, check the description. Now without any further ado, let's go ahead and have a closer look at it. First is the all new boot animation with the Android L, as you can see here. The next thing you will notice about the new update is the all new lock screen where you can see your carrier name on the top, connectivity status, battery status and even your Google profile picture. With this update, you also get the lock screen shortcuts. You can swipe to the right to quickly open the phone app, swipe left to launch the camera, swipe down from the top to bring all the toggles and swipe up to unlock your device. Next is the overhaul notifications. Now you can get all your notifications on your lock screen. You can double tap to open it and swipe left or right to close it. For notifications like missed calls, you can swipe down from the notification to quickly respond to the notification like calling back and messaging. So let's quickly unlock the device and as you can see we have the new wallpaper from Android L. We also get the redesigned navigation keys. We have the new icon for the app drawer. App drawer looks the same, nothing much, so nothing new here. Swiping from the top, uh, we get the notification center and uh, we don't have to swipe with double finger to bring down the toggles this time around. You can swipe again to see all the toggles. We also get a new keyboard with this update. The new keyboard has a material design and is very stylish, feels very smooth and responsive. We even have a redesigned UI for the settings menu and a search options has been added on the settings menu so that we can quickly search and change the settings. The off and on badges has also been changed. With Android L, you have the settings UI optimized for the landscape mode as well. Another big change is the new multitasking screen. We get the card-like UI that we have seen in the Google Chrome for the Android. It is also called 3D multitasking. You can swipe down to navigate through all your apps running in the background and swipe away or tap on the close icon to close it. The battery life has also been improved with this update. It is set to last 90 minutes more on the regular uses. And while charging, you get additional details like you get info on remaining time until full charge etc. You also get a battery saving mode which will be automatically activated once your battery is under 15%. And again, if you plug in the charger, it will be automatically turned off. When you press the volume keys, you will notice that there is a new feature called do not disturb mode which will be activated until you turn it off or set a timer. Now let's talk about the stock apps that were updated with this update. First, the phone app. This has been completely redesigned with this update and you get a stylish dialer and icons. You have three different tabs here that shows you speed dials, favorites, recents and all contacts. Even the call screen has been changed. When you are on your home screen or you are using any other apps, you are no longer interrupted with the full screen call notification. You get a small badge and you can tap on it to go to the full screen mode to get additional options. You only get a full screen notification when your device is locked, that is when you are not using your device. Second is the contacts. Contacts are now in a centered view and you get this quick glance feature where you tap on the contact icon to quickly view details about the contact. Third is the calculator. The calculator app also receives an update and now you can use additional formulae on your calculations. So guys with this update we get a lot of UI changes. You will notice that when you launch any app it makes a card like animation and launches from the bottom of the screen. Pulling down the notification center will not cover the whole screen until and unless you have a notification. And by default with Android L we have the ART runtime. But since using the developer edition of this Android. Uh, you may face some problems like lags on some third-party apps, battery drains, etc. But as of now, I'm not facing any of these issues, a few lags with the Facebook app and the widget space. But apart from that, all the apps works perfectly fine like camera, play store, calling and texting, etc. All the basic functionality like uh, NFC, Bluetooth, wireless charging, 3G, etc. works perfect. So uh, if you have noticed anything else, do let me know in the comment section below. Thanks a lot for watching and you guys have a great time.